worried about what they know, what they've heard about the subject. Talk about something that can make you do wrong, make you do right. Hey Zoo, how are you doing? Hi. Welcome. Can you can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. Hi everybody, welcome to Six Talk Two. To uh, this is Zoo to my ovaries. And uh, she is which are protesting. I don't know if anyone else's ovaries are protesting. <laughs> yeah? Just reconnect again with uh, Zuba. Hey Zuba, you're back, sorry. We're back. So anyway, I just did a poem. And I, and I don't think I should say what I just did because everyone else is here. Maybe later people will want to make comments. But the last thing I want to do, why I'm having a sex talk with same-sex couples and couples altering sexes and, you know, is, it's quite a personal thing. Oh, does anyone have a question for Sibyl? That's when I started really to, to, to define myself first, you know. And I think that the definition process is so important before you even engage in a love in a love space because you can't you can't love without having understood who you are as a person giving or receiving love, you know. So I had to define myself for myself, and it, it's a it's a long process. It doesn't happen. You know, in a year, two years. I mean, you can call yourself this, you know, whatever. But when you interrogate yourself and, and ask what it means to be lesbian and ask what what those feelings mean and how you express those feelings or how you receive certain feelings from people, you know, that's when you, you, you get into a deeper conversation with yourself and, and with the world, you know. So over the years, I mean, I started with a lesbian and then gradually I was like, I'm, I'm queer, I'm queer, I'm queer, you know. And the term queer for me, personally, you know, means that I don't, I don't reduce people to just, you know, sex, gender. You know, when you say cisgender, it's like, you know, the person, the, 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 the physical so, attributes of the person. The society has sort of constructed the standards because it's so easy to say, okay, it's a male, it's a female. A female has to do this, a male has to do this, and this is how. And we are so much confined into those spaces. And as humans, we, we evolve and we explore things. And because of these norms that we actually have set, that are set by the society, we find ourselves being in prison. I remember when the concept of sexuality, whatever was buying, that was being, you know, come to the buy chick. I did, guys, but I like baking up the chicks, which was so weird. But anyway, <laughs> that was just me. And then I got to a point where I was like, oh my god. Woman. Dude, yes. you know? And I was like, this can what is this? And I had a very difficult time. My coming out sort of was not fun to myself. It was not, I did not like it. I was like, what is this? And also, I ha I'm thinking, I can't remember the word, is it emasculate or something like that? They just, me being all up in her was going to take away who she was. Yes. So she couldn't allow me to do that. Mm -hmm. So that's how, that's how I understand why some of them would not let you.